Hey folks, Steve Reynolds here. Welcome to Marlowe Monday. Did you know that Marlowe loved movies? You may have heard the classic tale of Marlowe sitting in the theater, sailing second centers and bottoms into his upturned hat. But it was also movies that inspired some of his work. Check out Card Finesse and the lecture notes that later became the card magic of Edward Marlowe. Here's an excerpt from Card Finesse. The Cincinnati Force was inspired by the movie The Cincinnati Kid. The Cincinnati Kid, played by Steve McQueen, is a card hustler. At one point in the story, he shows a card trick to his girlfriend and her father. He spread the cards face down and asked the girl to select one, whereupon McQueen immediately named it. If marked cards are used, the effect is easily duplicated. The following approach uses regular cards. Another example is from Second Centers and Bottoms. His earliest experimentations with the center deal, for example, was inspired by a movie short of Louis Zingoni traveling on a train and cheating the travelers. Marlowe saw the center deal and started thinking. I'm sure there are others, but my all-time favorite was mentioned in the Cardition. The second trick in the book, the wishing card trick, originally in Phoenix, 1945. And Marlowe writes, how many times has a magician placed a card face down and asked the spectator to think of any card in the pack? If the thought of card was the ace of spades, the card he placed face down, he had a miracle. If it happened to be the king of hearts, the card on top of the deck, a fast change, and he still had a miracle. Now Marlowe goes into his particular method. And at the end of this write-up, he writes, The idea of wishing for a card is not mine, but taken from a movie based on the book by Clayton Rawson called Miracles for Sale. And here is that clip. next little experiment I propose to reverse the usual order of procedure. Uh, I shall pick a card, then you shall tell me which card I picked. Uh, now, now which card is this? Anyone at all? Possibly the one you wish you'd drawn last week in the poker game, what? Won't someone please tell me? The Jack of Spades. Diamonds. I'm so sorry. The lady is always right. The lady is also possibly your stooge. Oh, really? Are you my stooge? You bet I'm not. I called for the Ace of Spades. And what card is this? The Jack of Diamonds. I'm so sorry. It's the Ace of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the end of another episode. I'm your host, Steve Reynolds. Please join me again next week for another Marlowe Monday.